Hello, Stuart Memo here. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to generate audio uh, via sine waves, sawtooth waves, etc. using the wonderful Web Audio API. Now, I've seen a lot of blog posts uh, explaining how to do this, but they use buffers and the sine function and they kind of complicate things a bit too much. Um, so hopefully I'm going to show you a simpler way right now. Um, so let's start by just creating a basic HTML document and just give it a heading wavy davy and creating our script tag just to stick our JavaScript in. Now the first thing to do when you're working with the web audio API is uh, to declare your uh, context. Now your context is pretty much like a, a canvas for sound um, and we do this by just simply doing var context equals new webkit audio context easy and the next thing we want to do is create an oscillator now the oscillator is uh, essentially the wave pattern that the the, the, the waveform that we're going to be generating um, and in the oscillator, in fact, using context.create oscillator defaults to a sine wave, which is quite handy. Um, and that's really <laughs> all we need. The oscillator itself is a sound source, so we need to connect that to a destination, and that's our speakers. We do this by doing oscillator.connect. And we do user context, context.destination. So to recap, that's us creating the, connecting the oscillator or sound source to our destination, which is our speakers. And we want this to happen straight away. So we use the note on function and specify zero seconds. Okay. So if we switch to our browser, we'll hopefully hear something. Okay, perfect. Let's comment that out so it stops. Okay, so that's us getting a nice round sine wave. Now, if we wanted to change the type of wave to say a sawtooth wave, we simply change the oscillator type now to an integer. If you go on to stuartmemo.com, I've posted an article which explains the different type of waves and the correlating integer. So we can see here that a sawtooth wave is number two. So we change that, set the type to two, and let's take this comment out. And hopefully, there we go. Our sawtooth wave. So, uh, hopefully that's shown you a, a, an easier way to create sound uh, using the web audio, audio API. API through waves and uh, yeah, enjoy.